The most striking thing about being on the show a few years ago was that it was so unexpected. I thought I would come out here and hopefully win a game or maybe two if I was really lucky. And it ended up being just exponentially more than I ever could have anticipated. You're now a 20-game winner in second place. $428,100. No, I won so much money. I thought, well, this is a really unexpected opportunity to take a step back and think about what else I might want to do with myself. Having this financial freedom to explore has been, you know, really, really incredible and, and wholly unexpected. I mean, I certainly expected to work a nine to five type job for my whole professional life. You know, what do people who really like what they do? What are they what are they doing? How do they figure it out? So I thought, well, you know, what better way to learn about that than to talk to people who really do like what they do and learn about different career paths. So I, I talk to women who are typically mid-career. Um, a few have been people I've actually known through the show. It's really sharing stories of what somebody's path to a fulfilling career is. I didn't know about so many different career paths that exist and I feel like I'm not alone in that and um, this was a good way to to have some exposure. And I never know what people are going to say and sometimes I'm totally surprised. I volunteer with an organization called 826 um, in their Chicago chapter. I mostly volunteer with kids who do field trips to learn about creative storytelling which is really fun. It's a really fun way to get them thinking about creative writing. It's very, it's very fun and rewarding. I think, it, I think my path is still evolving. And five years ago, I would have had no idea that my life would have taken this turn. So um, it's hard to, hard to know what will come next, but there's always more interesting ground to cover.